Country 102.9 presents Ruse Day Tuesday. A weekly discussion with SUNY Canton men's basketball head coach Ben Thompson, giving you the inside scoop on all things SUNY Canton basketball. Q Country 102.9, Troy O'Brien with you in the studio and happy to introduce a, a new feature that we've got with a, a local college basketball team. We're calling it Ruse Day Tuesday and joining me in the studio is Ben Thompson, the head coach of the SUNY Canton men's basketball team. We're going to do this uh, kind of a coach's corner kind of a situation. It'll be a, a regularly scheduled weekly event every Tuesday. We'll call it Ruse Day Tuesday. And uh, Ben Thompson has a lot of great stuff to talk about. Um before the season starts for the SUNY Canton Kangaroos. Ben Thompson, you just got back from uh, quite the summer. You had uh, you coached the uh, D3 USA college team. What was that experience like? Yeah, it was pretty pretty neat. Uh, so it's uh, it was an invitation-only deal for the kids. Um, and so it's like a Team USA select team, Division Three. We went down to uh, Brazil, mm -hmm. um, got to compete down there and take the guys to – Different places. We stayed on Copacabana Beach, which was neat. Awesome. Um, yeah, I got to, to take him to the Christ statue and uh, Sugarloaf Mountain and, and kind of see the culture of of that area. Mm -hmm. learn, learn a little uh, Portuguese. Not much, but just no. a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's when I saw the announcement that you had been selected, uh, what was that like for you when you found out that they had selected you to coach the USA men's college D3 team? Yeah, it was pretty surreal. It was a neat deal. Uh, I was very humbled. It was something that was not expected. Mm -hmm. um, but it's always been a dream of mine to represent the USA uh, overseas in competition. And so it was really kind of a dream come true for me. Yeah, I would say so. And now you're taking everything you learned there and you're bringing it into this new season uh, for SUNY Canton, the Kangaroos here. You're in a new division. Can you tell us more about that new division and, and what you expect this season? Yeah, so it's a new conference. Uh, well, not new to us, mm -hmm. uh, but the North Atlantic Conference. Okay. Um, and so we go in with seven other teams, and uh, I think Husson uh, has won five out of the last seven um, championships. So, you know, they've been pretty dominant uh, okay. here recently, but... Uh, so we'll go in, and, and we're in there with, with Husson and uh, Johnson and Linden out of Vermont, uh, Maine Farmington, Maine Maritime, Umpy, Thomas College. And so going in with that group, and uh, hopefully we can we can compete with them. Obviously, uh, you've been having an off-season program. Hopefully your guys have been practicing over the summer and whatnot. Uh, I want to know about what you expect from this team coming forward, as well as uh, you've got an event coming up tomorrow, Moonlight Madness on Halloween night. Um, is that open to the public? Yeah, it is. The thing that we're looking forward to with our guys is just to see if they can compete every day uh, okay. and get better. Uh, Moonlight Madness is something that, that we started uh, when I got here, and uh, we've kind of put a new twist on it this year. It's Moonlight Madness Halloween Havoc. Okay. Uh, you know, Halloween night. Yeah, so yeah. Um, we're... Um, you know, hoping that the the, the college students uh, will come out in their costumes and their parents, you know, will go trick or treating with the kids, and then you know, bring the kids over to Moonlight Madness after trick or treating, and we'll throw out shirts and t-shirts and and all that sort of thing. But it's it's a great look for the men's and the women's basketball team to kind of get a showcase of of the upcoming year. Okay, well, I definitely want to talk more about Moonlight Madness as well as well expectations for the team going into this season. We'll be right back with Ruse Day Tuesday. Ben Thompson talking about Moonlight Madness and his upcoming season when we return on Q Country 102.9. Q Country 102.9 presents Ruse Day Tuesday. A weekly discussion with SUNY Canton men's basketball head coach Ben Thompson, giving you the inside scoop on all things SUNY Canton basketball. Q Country 102.9 back in the studio as part of our Ruse Day Tuesday. Uh, coach's corner type of a situation here with Ben Thompson, head coach of the SUNY Canton men's basketball team. We talked briefly before Moonlight Madness. It's kind of a, a scrimmage between your team. You split up into two different sides. It's also a skills competition, kind of a Halloween event. Let's talk briefly about that. When is Moonlight Madness? What time is it? Does it cost anything to get in? And is it open to the public? Yeah, so it's uh, tomorrow night at 8 p.m., mm -hmm. uh, Halloween night uh, in the Cark, the Roos House. Uh, it is free to the public. Um, it'll be uh, the men's team, the women's team. And so we'll do uh, intros. Uh, we'll throw out candy and, and T-shirts and 
Uh, we're going to do a three-point contest and a dunk contest. And, okay. Uh, we'll do a skills challenge. So, so similar to the NBA All-Star Weekend exactly. situation. Yeah, okay, exactly. So, so it's not just basketball. It's also, you know, showing off some highlight reels and whatnot. Exactly. A great thing to bring kids out if you got got uh, elementary school kids, middle school kids in the area who play basketball. They want to see what exactly the competition is like at the college level. It's a good event for that as well. And, you know, speaking of the college competition, you are in a new conference this year. And your team, you know, they just got back from summer vacation. What do you think of the new guys on your team? And what are you expecting from them this season? Yeah, I like our team. Um, you know, this is my third year and, and it's the best chemistry that we've had. Awesome. Um, you know, we, we had a scrimmage on Friday and uh, we're pretty sloppy, so we have a ways ways to go. Okay. Um, but you know we have a lot of talent, and you know I, I think that that we'll uh, we'll be able to create mismatches for a lot of teams that we play. Mm-hmm. Um, and so you know our expectations are the same for every year. We want to compete for a conference championship mm-hmm. and hopefully make the NCAA tournament and then uh, kind of do some damage from there. Now, last season, uh, a lot of your core starters were were younger players, uh, freshmen on the starting five. Now, how do you see a difference in this lineup now that those players have kind of had a maturity and uh, they, they've now developed into your system? Yeah, so we started three freshmen last year. Yeah. Um, and a fourth guy who was new to us, uh, but he was a junior. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this year, this preseason, there's been a ton of competition. Um, and so they, the freshmen that are now sophomores uh, are being challenged by the new guys this year. And so okay. it, it's been good to see. Um, you know, it, it, none of the guys came in with the mindset, you know, that just because I started last year, I'm going to start this year. Or just because I played a lot of minutes last year doesn't mean I'm going to play a lot of minutes this year. And so that was a good mindset for everybody to have. And we kind of started from scratch and guys have been competing and, and earning minutes. Any last minute remarks before we leave here? Maybe you want to tell us more about uh, the Moonlight Madness, where once again, uh, the location and time is. Yeah, tomorrow night, Halloween night, bring your costumes, uh, bring your buckets because we will have candy. We will have shirts, uh, but the men's and women's team will have three point competition, dunk contest. Uh, we'll scrimmage. We'll do a skills competition and then Hopefully, uh, it'll kind of get everybody hyped uh, to watch our game against Cornell on November the 8th on ESPN Plus on national television. Oh, wow. And okay. then uh, at home on November the 10th against Morrisville that we've kind of developed a pretty good rivalry against them.